If your corals are dying in your reef tank, here's some reasons that might be happening. And if they're not dying, this video is still gonna help you. Now, the first thing I do when corals are struggling in my aquariums is I test the water. I'll test the alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, the pH, the salinity, the nitrate, and the phosphate. Those are gonna be the big ones to test for in a reef tank. Now, just doing one water test is not gonna help you out. That's why it's really important to consistently test your water. So obviously, if you're in a situation where your corals are dying, and you haven't been testing your water and you test it and they're out of the normal ranges, then yeah, the water test helps out. But if it tests all in the normal range, but you don't have anything to compare it to, you're not gonna have a baseline to work off of. Ultimately, when it comes to water chemistry in a reef tank, corals love consistency. And if we don't test our water consistently, then we won't have consistent water. Now, the next thing I look at is typically going to be water flow. I think a lot of people just go and buy a wave maker and put it in the tank and they're like, great, we've got more water circulation in the tank. But what's really important is that corals love indirect water flow. So they don't like getting slammed in one direction constantly, or even sometimes if they're right in front of the power head or the return nozzle, it can do some damage to them in the long run. So I recommend when you're setting up your flow in your aquarium to set it up, watch it, watch how the corals react for a little bit. It might take a few hours and then slowly tweak it over time until you're not getting direct blasting on the corals. And the last thing mostly applies to new additions to the aquarium. And unfortunately, we didn't do this on purpose, but we do have a great example of this. We've got a nice little Montipora digitata frag that we put at the top of this aquarium, but it came out of a tank that was in lower light. So this coral unfortunately has bleached. It's not dead, it's just lost some color, but we'll need to put it into lower light so it can recover. I highly recommend if you're buying corals online and getting them shipped to you, or even going to your local fish store, that you put corals into lower light to start. That way they can get used to your water chemistry and then they can get used to your light in your aquarium. Comment down below what coral you're looking to get next for your aquarium and make sure to follow Aquarium Arts to see more tips like this.